Hey, YouTube. Pipe Nuttery, how you all doing? Uh, this is a, um, just a top 10 video uh, of my favourite backies of uh, 2012. Uh, so hopefully I'll get through this without uh, boring you too much. Um, I'm doing this mainly because, you know, these are what I got. I want to see what everybody else has got. Um, you know, I want to go shopping for something a little bit, you know, out of the ordinary than what I'm, you know, normally smoking. So, um, anyway, um, let's get into it. Uh, at number 10, uh, is the old, and this is the only aromatic on my list is the old standard, uh, one Q. And, um, let's turn my monitor off. Uh, this is when I feel like a, an aromatic or whether I feel like mixing it up. Uh, this is the, generally the one that I turn to. Um, so, uh, I've pretty much smoked my way through all of about eight ounces of it uh, in the last couple of months. Uh, I don't smoke pipes all the time. So, uh, but yeah, when I'm, my tongue's a bit fried and I'm feeling, you know, normal, my normal go to backies are feeling a little bit heavy. Uh, this is what I, you know, the one cue is what I turn to. So, uh, the next one. Um, I was introduced by another uh, another y y YouTuber. Uh, I never sort of looked at it too hard, uh, and that was uh, Rat Train's Old Gowry. Um, when I'm feeling like a bit of a you know a ladder key hit, um, yeah, it's 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 a, it's a good standby. I, I I quite enjoy that one. It's you know smooth smoke. Um, has a nice, nice. Uh, well, I think it's a nice room note. Uh, it's actually a, a wife-approved one, uh, surprisingly enough. So, yeah, that's number nine. Uh, the next one I got turned to uh, by um, Jason McNary and also Cobb Piper. Um, they seem to like this one, and it's GLP's Westminster. Um, as you can see, I don't have a whole lot left. Um, this one, uh, was surprising. Um, it really hit me in the nose with the, with, uh, the Latakia. Uh, but when you smoke it, it's very, very smooth. Um, uh, very pleasant. Uh, there's some sweetness there, uh, as well as, you know, this, you know, the natural smokiness of the, you know, the Latakia and all that. Well, that's at least what I get. Um, so I'm reading off my list here as well, so... Bear with me. Uh, the next one, uh, I've sort of recently turned to, or gone away from the aromatics, and, and uh, I'm, you know, I'm hitting the Balkans pretty hard, but I'm also uh, getting right into the vapors. Orlick, Orlick Golden Slice. Uh, good, strong, you know, nice Virginia flavors uh, with just a touch of Perique in it. Uh, I really like Perique. Uh, I like that smoky flavor. Uh, whenever I smell Perique, uh, especially in some of the blends that are coming up, uh, I, I happen to, to love the smell of smoky bacon, and that's what I find. Whenever I get uh, Perique, yeah, it's got to love it. Uh, the next one on my list, I don't have any of. I'm all out. Uh, and that is the old American standby, Carter Hall. Um, I wanted to try that for ages. I got sent some by uh, an, another uh, YouTuber. Uh, and in my next big order, I am going to get myself a big old hunking tub of Carter Hall. Uh, that is that is another one of those great standbys where you just feel like a smoke and you don't want to think about it, you know, and you just want good, you know, Virginia and Burley flavors, uh, you know, no sweetness, no, no nothing. It, it's, uh, I mean, you get a slight nutty taste to it, uh, I think, um, but it's not something that will draw your attention to uh, what you're smoking. So uh, I do enjoy those. Uh, the next one I've got on my list, uh, and this seems to be going nuts at the moment, and I can honestly see why. It's a beautiful looking tobacco, and that's Peter Stockerby's uh, Twist Flake. Uh, you can see in the bag and there, it's just, it looks fantastic. You, you, uh, one flake in a small bowl and that's enough. And that will keep you chuffing away for about you know 10, 20 minutes. Uh, it is really, really good stuff. Uh, I can't recommend that one enough. Uh, the next one I got uh, on my list is and where am I up to? Uh, 
So, uh, yeah, sixth on my, on my list uh, is, uh, and I don't have a lot of this left either, is uh, Morgan Private Cake, or what's now known as uh, Derbyshire uh, by Hearth and Home. I think that's another one of them pipes and cigars type mix. Uh, there is no Latakia in this thing whatsoever. Uh, it's Red Virginia's, uh, some burly Kentucky... Uh, oh, it's really late at night, and I'm not looking at my notes. But this one... Um, was sent to me by uh, by Metamorphosis uh, Sarge. Uh, hope you're doing well, mate. Uh, this one I love. It, it's it's an, uh, a good, strong, good, full body. I think it is. Uh, it's a great smoke. Uh, again, best in a, in a well. I think it's best in a, in a small bowl. Uh, you seem to get a little bit more flavour to it. Um, so yeah. The next one on my list will probably get a few you know of you drooling. Um, I was fortunate enough to be you know, sent a tin of this, and uh, that's Jermaine's Brown Flake. Now, from what I'm told, if you've had uh, Stonehaven uh, by Esoterica, then you've pretty much had Jermaine's Brown Flake. Uh, now, Jermaine's, it's, it says it's a flake, but it doesn't really peel off like a flake, um, at least not in, by this tin anyway, and this is the only tin I've got to go by. Now, when you uh, see so if I can do this without spilling it everywhere, when you pull the tobacco out of the out of the tin, it tends to come off, you know, in strips like so. Uh, I rub that out. Uh, I shove that into a corn cob. Smokes best in a corn cob, as far as I'm concerned. Um, it just gets better and better and better every you know, you know down the bowl to me. It's it's got a it reminds me of it when you, the tin note is more like a, 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 a salty sea uh, smell. Um, uh, again, it's it's one of them ones that really really changes as as you go through the bowl. Um, it's a very smooth smoke, uh, a lot of taste. Uh, if you can get your hands on that, and I know it's extremely difficult, get yourself some. That is fantastic. Uh, second from my top, um, Mississippi River. Now I got that and, and some plugs. Um, all I do is chop her up because the, the plugs are, they're, they're supposed to be a crumble cake, but um, the plugs I've got uh, are just too um, hard to crumble. So I just get a sharp knife, cut off a couple, a couple of um, you know flakes, and rub those things out. Uh, another one of my favourites in cobs. I tend to, to smoke a, a lot of cobs these days. Uh, the there is latakia on it, in, in, the latakia in it, but it's this blend is so well put together uh, that it's it just mixes in just so nice. Um, that is a go-to every time when I order. I get this. Uh, brilliant, absolutely brilliant smoke. And my number one, and this was my first taste of Balkan, and at, when I first tried it, I hated it. Uh, wasn't, didn't want to smoke it. Uh, re absolutely regretted uh, buying it. Um, gave it a few more hits in a small cob, and it just began to make sense. Um, my favourite, my top is Frog Morton's on the Bayou. Uh, I've yet to try any of the other Frog Mortons. Uh, I will be putting a, an order together to, to get some uh, to get uh, a, a taste of a few others. Uh, but this is my absolute favourite. Uh, smoky, sweet, uh, great tasting Virginias. Uh, to me, it goes extremely well with a good coffee. Uh, and I will smoke this in any pipe that I have. This does good in a small bowl, does good in a large bowl. That's just me. Uh, this, this tin is empty, <laughs> has been empty for quite some time. Uh, I've been using the store up me, uh, me chopped up Mississippi River in it. Uh, just, yeah. Plus I love the artwork on these tins. The, the, the artwork is brilliant. So, uh, if you haven't tried Frog Morton's on the Bayou, then Absolutely. If you're going to get into Balkans, this is the one to get. This is the for me the absolute ducks nuts. So um, that's my top ten. 
Uh, sorry, I hope I didn't bore you too much. Uh, I just wanted to share what uh, what I thought on it. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I hope you're all well. Be good. See you later.